Hackers will stop at nothing to steal your information during tax season, but taking steps to protect your personal information can help you avoid a costly mistake. Our Ken McCoy spoke with the IRS and has a story. During tax time, hackers are scarier than the IRS. Your information can be compromised in many different areas. So all we can do as a taxpayer is protect our information as best we can. Tax-related identity theft occurs when someone uses your stolen personal information to file a tax return, claiming a fraudulent refund. When they're going to file electronically, the system rejects them. What does that mean? That means that someone may have used their social security number or one of their dependent social security numbers to file a fraudulent tax return. So what can you do if you become a victim? First, file by paper. You have to fill out a form 14039. That is an identity theft affidavit, which basically tells the IRS that you are the person uh, that is on that tax return. The IRS will take some time to investigate and eventually you will get your refund back. Next, protect your personal information. Do not carry your social security card with you. Do not give it out to anyone unless you know that you have to. For, do the same with your kids' uh, social security cards. Hire a professional. A tax preparer will hold your most valuable information. He will have access to all your uh, social security numbers and those of your loved ones. He will have information about your bank account. So you want to make sure that the person you hire is someone that could be trusted. Lastly, report any suspicious activity. You have to report it to local law enforcement. You have to contact the Federal Trade Commission and report it. You should do a credit freeze on all your three credit bureaus. And also, you should notify the IRS uh, with an affidavit, which is 14039, to make sure that you're doing everything to protect yourself. For Fox 54 News, I'm Ken McCoy.